Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director of Prandtl Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan, and today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public, so please subscribe to our channel. You know, a lot of times we get the question about the bias from the courts in custody matters, meaning that for many years there was a feeling that the court was biased toward the mom, that the kids should go with the mom. Dad would get parenting time, but he wouldn't get custody. Now the courts have stepped away from that and really tried to make it a function of fairness and what's in the best interest of the child rather than choosing between mom and dad. No greater illustration of the courts going to that direction is there than the question that was recently raised, which is how are custody issues resolved in a same-sex marriage or same-sex divorce? See, now that we're in an environment where you have same-sex divorces, there is no longer a, a, a notion of, well, you know, the, the, the kid should definitely go with the dad as a function of bias. Theoretically, you can have two dads with uh, two adopted children. Then what are you going to do? There's no gender bias there. there the two women, there's not going to be a gender bias in favor of the mom. Who are you going to say who's the mom? I mean, but, you know, how are you going to work that out? What if one of them, what if you have two children and two moms in this same-sex marriage? One is the natural child of one, and one is the natural child of the other, and they get married. What are we going to split up the kids who believe themselves their whole lives they were siblings? We're going to say, well, you go with the mom and you go with the mom. That's not how the court's going to look at it. The court is going to take into account, irrespective of the fact that it's a same-sex marriage, what's in the best interest of the children. Now, is it possible that the court could split up the kids? It is possible. The court has the discretion to do that but only if it could put on the record after going through the best interest factors that it's the best interest of this child to stay with this parent and this one to stay with the other. In most cases, there's a very strong feeling that the children should be together, family should not be split up. We should not divide the children. So unless there's a compelling reason to do that, you can well expect that the court's gonna keep the kids together and is gonna decide who amongst the parents, whether they're same sex or not, who is, gives the opportunity to promote the best interests of the children. If it's parent number one, then custody's gonna go to that parent, number two gonna go to the other. And it's not gonna be because one's male or one female, it's gonna be because it serves the best interests of the children to go with that particular parent. If you have any questions about that, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.